It's the start of a new day. You're walking around your house. You see a shirt laying on the floor and needs to go into the laundry room. So you reach down to pick it up. And then, if you're lucky, you happen to notice the little guy that's hiding in there. The brown recluse spider. One of the most dangerous spiders in North America. But chances are you didn't see him because he hides like this one in uh, the shadows or in the folds of the garment itself. Uh, a lot of people are hurt by putting on uh, jeans or shirts or gloves or shoes that uh, the brown recluse has crawled into at night and uh, then it bites them. Here I've lured him out into the open. Typically they hide uh, in the dark recesses around the baseboards or under furniture and which is how they get their name recluse. But I've got him out into the sunlight so you can plainly see the violin marking on its back. Um, the spider is also known as a fiddleback spider for that reason. Brown recluses get their name for two simple reasons. One, they're brown. And two, they uh, are reclusive. They don't like coming out in the daylight like this one is. They typically are hiding under a baseboard or in this shirt or um, under your furniture or probably even in your attic. Um, but they are very dangerous. Don't pick them up. Their bite is very nasty. Uh, it won't kill you, but it will leave uh, without antibiotics. Uh, it will it will cause skin necropsis, which will eat a big hole into your skin, uh, even down into your organs. It's uh, uh, very nasty. I just squashed the brown recluse, and now I'm going to feed him to the fish. Here we have one dead brown recluse. I'm sure the fish are going to be happy to get him.